So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. It's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Or tell the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the cooler. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Mark the Hammer. Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be. Who gets that shiny moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, maybe the opponent thought the jab was coming instead. The page left by the side. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just mix it up. You cannot allow a guy to get a beat on you. Great block there. Right hand good on the counter. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing shots too. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here. You see, it's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Coleman. 
Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Excellent grounded pound here by Cole. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Three minutes in our opening round. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Coleman's back in side control. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Coleman's back in half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Under two minutes to go. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Uh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Coleman's right back to the full mount. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, right into Mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. Oh, nice body shot. 30 seconds to go here. Come on, let's go. Let's get busy. We've got 30 seconds left. Guess to the single collar time now. Counters with the left. Fifteen seconds. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Right. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what You're changes tight. he makes to right. give himself an opportunity. Good. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, he caught that shot and lands the hook on the counter. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nice counter jab up top by Cole. Slips to avoid the round. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That's a big strike right there. Overhead, he's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. 
Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. He sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left. Clipped him with the right hand there. All right, gets inside, gets the single hollow tie here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Coleman. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking right advantage of the strike. Right Coleman's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Oh, nice straight left there. And so prepared. These are the types of fights. Check on the leg kick offer right there. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Here. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter. He's the smartest thing. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Thank God the left one's open, because that right eye is really starting to shut. Under a minute to go. Beautiful kick lands there. There it is again. Look at Feels like the beginning of the end. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack him. Nice transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, looking for the billy lock now, might have the guillotine. Guillotine is officially tight. He's really working hard for his guillotine, but he can't pull out his arms. He's got to make sure it's secure if he's going to go 100% to try to get this finish. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Inside leg kick is there by Cole. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop his fight. Just out of range with the big right hand. He's got that single collar tie. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of... Oh! Oh, a big left hand! Oh, nice little right hook there. Great position. Beautiful elbow over the top. There, huge block for him. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he is getting lit up right now, John. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Coleman's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise him. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice body shot. Well, at this point, he's gotta be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Coleman's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy's Oh, another one. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the cooler. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.